Hello and welcome to the Punish Show. Hi. Planes, trains, and automobiles, boys. Matthew Taylor, Glenn Pollock, Mark Lambon. Hello there. Good day, Dallas Baker. Okay. And I tell you what, after a week of rain, we've got a, a bloody Bonza week coming up. Oh, mate, my cab driver, which I just spent the half my life with, <laughs> getting here. It's a long, yeah, it's a long, a long time to spend with someone. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, well, uh, he was telling me Thursday is apparently going to be really, really hot. Hawkesbury, off. Fri <laughs> <laughs> Friday, Friday, Hawkesbury, 39 yeah. degrees here. Yeah. So what's that make it out west? Oh, oh 40. They're well, going they, to call it hot because it's too hot. They, <laughs> they, could, they could cancel a race meeting on a heavy 10 because it's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's unfair for Brian Fletcher because Brian Fletcher, he, honestly, he said no luck with his track as far as racing on it. The jockeys didn't want to run it. But this highway idea, I think it was his, wasn't he? With the country horses, was it his idea? The highway idea, wasn't it? Oh, would it? No, I don't know. I think it was. Would he? Well, would... it's the most interesting race on Saturdays. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, you know, we've got 14 oh, runners, yeah. 15, 16 runners. Yeah. What are you looking for funny for, Dave? No. I think it's interesting. No, no, well, no, no, I think it's interesting, but yeah. Dallas hasn't come to grips with doing the form for the race. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind it on But it's the, the best idea we've seen in ages, okay? Punters don't give a fuck about group one racing. Punters do not give a fuck about prize money. Punters don't give a fuck about owners. Yep. Punters care about field size and fucking send 18 cockroaches around with different form and we'll bet on the cockroaches. <laughs> what we give a fuck about is something to bet into. I think Brian Fletcher's been involved with this idea and I think the fields have been great. Mm. The betting on the races have been great and you feel like you've got a chance. Now I know Dashing Deluxe beat Ecotere and Grand Proposal and like, you know, it wasn't a winning race for me with Cathy. But it's a race I enjoy betting into. That's right, that's right. Well, uh, talk about an interesting day. We had Turner Pilates, a city like a, a Saturday city double. With the Peter Wells combo. With the Peter Wells double. Yeah. Cathy the, a double. Cathy a double. Jay Ford a win. Um, Jay Ford uh, riding like a man inspired in the first race and went right. by our head and Gwen, was never going to win. Gwenda training a winner. Carrots and Bananas training a winner. Wow, beautiful. So the days What of a meeting. Gay Waterhouse and Nashville Willer are gone. <laughs> It's just all turning around. But we look, I, I, I hope we have seven country races and two city races. <laughs> Honestly, it's great. And I think people racing New South Wales should realise that what punters want is something to bet on. No, we well, don't care about ribbons, we don't care about anything to do. I couldn't give a fuck about golden slippers. I don't care, I just want to bet. Yeah. And I can't bet in the six and five horse races the same way I can bet in an 18 horse race. Mm. Because all this game should be about is betting, betting, betting. So what did you make of the way that meeting started out? Like, um, on Friday you picked up the fields and you went, fuck yeah. me, drunk. Yeah, it was good, and then you and wake then, up. Yeah. And then there's 43 scratches. Well, especially with wet track, I don't know what everyone else is doing it these days, but I, I do a bit of preparatory work on Fridays, which is like the early, early, I call it the early donkey work, and you can't, you can't have a, an opinion. It's hard no. to have an early bet. You don't want to take back some big odds in case of six scratchings. And, and then the next morning, your map's completely different. And you've got to re... Oh, 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 at 8.30, at 7.30, I basically <coughs> restart doing the fall. Start again, though. But isn't that OK? Because, I mean, shouldn't we perhaps... I mean, I realise that the setup is meant to encourage early betting, but it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. And I think it's to the detriment of the game. Yeah, remember, like, I, I realised they were golden days and it's, 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 it's a bit of a crime being nostalgic. But the anticipation about what might go up, mm. you know, five minutes <coughs> after they've gone past the post was, it was, it was unbelievable, wasn't it? Mm. It was like... Yeah, is it uh, 4,000 cakes, give me a bite. <laughs> we're, like, we're like Christmas shoppers on Boxing Day opening the doors. <laughs> right, nowadays you get to the track on Saturday and you've been over the fucking prices and the form. Everything and, and the like, like, You know, so going. many times you go, I think I'm a bit over this meeting. No, they, they, they have... So you, the key is you've got to keep yourself fresh somehow. I, I, you know. where, where it'd be all right is if you actually, I suppose, weren't running businesses and it was more of a bit of a hobby that you could just do your form Saturday morning and not worry about oh, it. But yeah. Un yeah, unfortunately, true. when it is a business and everything else like that and you've got other things to run and even one extra scratching sends you into a turmoil spin because you don't think you're going to have time to finish it all. Well, Dale, you're, you're in the van at the, the problems associated with scratching <laughs> yeah, because... I'm, because, I'm because, aware of it. <laughs> well, I, I mean, there's form and then there's... The race speed profiles are just completely field dependent. Oh, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And so... Oh, yeah. Do you feel we should be getting... Maybe it's just a theory. I'm just tossing up that... Once you accept no scratchings, a bar of it's oh, I threw I threw that up once before, before on the. Oh, I actually wrote an article about it. Is that, that if if the track if the track goes just have uh, well 
have it in sort of simplicity, simplicity. Whereas, you, yeah, you're entitled to scratch if it goes from an affected track to a non-affected track with a major change. But say, but they even, uh, even say they have good tracks and wet tracks. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. But not so if it goes down maybe three or four rolls on the scale, or if it goes from um, above a dead five to a, a six, or what it crosses that line, you can say you can scratch. But apart from that, if you're in, you're well, in. I don't even think that. Yeah, I think I think I, I, think, I, I, think if I, the, I don't at, know why. If, if that changes from the time at acceptance time, but if it is. A heavy eight at acceptance time, and then it's a heavy eight on Saturday. Yeah. No, because you've accepted. Well, I just think no anyway. Yeah. They're running horses. Oh, you could, you could. I mean, Chris oh, I... he'll scratch six, seven runners race. Now they're all in the market. It's just so. Yeah, yeah but I just it's, think it's, he's not he... actually scratching it because of the track condition. He's scratching them because he'll scratch them anyway because he's trying to. He's trying to find the right race. Maximise, well, and which is which is which is fine for right. him. Just fuck it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm really so yeah. Scratch, scratch with a vet certificate or. Or I think it's fair enough if the track has changed and dramatically. We'll, we'll talk about that. All right, we're just coming back from our little, a little one pot of There he is. Sorry, I didn't realize I couldn't say that. No, okay, cool. Um, where were we? Yeah, about, about scratchings anyway. Yeah. It, should, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be as easy to scratch as it is. Well, I think look, that's the point. Well, it, it means you're getting destroyed. And well, and it's yeah, but it looks, part of the problem is that they're whacking up these track classifications that are so, like are so dire. Mm. What, right? right? You know, yeah. I, I, like I've got this track as a seven, mm. and it's rain. Like it, it's you know, it's there's rain about, and it's a seven. Mm. Yeah, well, put it no, this way, like I think calling it do we need nine. Dallas Baker and the Punisher to do the uh, track conditions well, for New South Wales? Well, <laughs> well, you do a good job. No, Greg, Rudolph, yeah, very kindly, yeah. Greg Rudolph very kindly came up to me before Canterbury last week and he, you know, he had a, we had a conversation about the track and he said, look, you know, the track managers are very conservative and unless we walk the track at 6am, their description goes. Yeah. The conservative, only track that conservative they walk, is wrong. Yeah, it's the thing wrong. about the track managers, he's saying, it's like, it's like the tradesman. You know, if you're an electrician, you're the best electrician in the area, and that other bloke over there, he can't do it. But you're always going to wrap your own game, so yeah. if you're going to give out a heavy nine, that turns into a seven, yeah. or a six, you look like such a good operator. But Maybe, why do you look yeah. good? Maybe one of their KPIs, like we talked about, KPI. KPIs. Maybe one of their KPIs is a track upgrade. What, what does KPI yeah. mean again? I can't. Key performance, performance indicator. indicator. Oh. But they, the other thing, they, they, they not kill Pollard instantly, no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, that's probably, that, that'd be a good KPI for Fucking a lot of the items. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think you just hit the nail on the head, though. The track ratings are done at 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, especially at Ramwick, where there's normally dues and everything about as well. So the track rating is going to be a lot worse at 6 a.m. than it is at 1 o'clock. Now, unless we start racing at 6 a.m., which I'm sure you'd be pro, race at 6, finish at 6. <laughs> it's it's just just, uh, at the moment, it's just suiting, it's suiting whoever is working at the time. It's not suiting the punter. Like, no. the re, uh, the, they don't update the track at, on a Friday afternoon because no except one's when I got, well, except when know. I killed a few pigeons there last yeah, week. Yeah, that's right. You know, and suddenly we've got this uh, up, up, uh, update about the storm when the storm came it's through. Most unusual. And, and, and again, once again, it was a storm that came through at three o'clock on Friday afternoon. By the time that the race is almost what 21 hours later are going to be starting or 22 hours later are going to be starting it doesn't really have the same relevance does it yeah anyway anyway uh, we all agree that yeah, should sorry. be less scratchings well yeah that's right <laughs> and, and we're, we're, <laughs> we're trying to achieve le fewer scratchings by you know trying Common to educate sense. people that these tracks aren't as bad as they're told uh, educating the trainers might be a good start about theories on horses performing and fitness wise yeah they, i think in their head they're just like or maybe it's the owners putting pressure on them just assuming my horse failed once on a heavy therefore it's not a wet tracker and, and we need to educate the race callers too the new every horse carrying 61 and a half winning and then going on and on about yeah. it when the limit's 59 it's starting to really do my head actually we've got we've, we've, we've put, a, me, put a good article up last week um they're about about to, almost almost challenging the trainers to accept the challenge of putting horses of a higher class and being able to carry 66, 60 something. Uh, there's a horse at uh, Corindai today with 69 and a half kilos. Noah Prentice, Alan Chow's on. Up you go. Wow, I got Matthew Scorson on. I was just going out of home to back it for sure. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen this. The, the, point that was made in, the, the point that was made in the article is that uh, if you believe in weights, and one of the theories of weights is, is the dead weight versus the heavy weight. Now, if trainers started doing that, you could get a great advantage by some jockeys that had to give it up by being 
heavyweight jockeys. Like you could have a specialist heavyweight jockey who can ride at say sixty five. Well, they used to have those sorts what about of things. A, a, a trainer, French, trainer French jockey, a trainer Con, jockey, Con Carrick, Cassanis, yeah, he'd con make a comeback. But could you imagine Price the advantage? Hayes wouldn't make a comeback. Imagine the advantage <laughs> you'd have <laughs> if you've got no dead weight in the saddle, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got a sixty five kilo jockey taking on a fifty three kilo jockey. Yeah. Hello. No Hello dead weight. Sarah. You've got 65. So a big the, strong man against a little man. A little man. So be like, play the weight game to your advantage. Oh, fuck yeah. Go the 69 kilos. Go Alan. The only thing is, I think Alan Chow's only 55. So, so it's going to be the oh, no, 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 He's carrying yeah. a couple of other. Cody little, Morgan. Co Cody. Back at, he's about 63. Yeah. 64. Exactly right. Get his license back. Yeah. Or train they, a train a jockey license. Put him in jail as a trainer. He can get a free pass to come back as a jockey. That's his chance. Trying to jockey licenses. Talking about jockeys, I just want to um, uh, let everyone know out there, it's good news, you guys will be excited. And uh, Adam Hieronymus made a return to racing from a broken collarbone or something. Mm -hmm. He rode Gay's horse unbelievably, and then he backed up the next race in a 71 chance for um, Scott's England Platinum Jack, got beaten ahead. Never seen two better rides. He's strong as an ox. How he doesn't get more opportunities. The good news is, anyone that needs my services can email Dallas for my mobile number. I'm now um, Adam's jockey manager. Oh, you are. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> so, uh, any trainers out there that want to get an accomplished rider, a strong rider, email Dallas for my number and ring me. I haven't actually spoken to Adam about it. <laughs> well, I was going to say, so so you... I'm not licensed. Part of the deal is going to be I'll get him on the good rides. And then when he finishes in the prize money, like he always does, the trainer will pay me. So it doesn't go through Adam. I reckon I can get out of licensing that way. Do you think it's a good idea? <laughs> now, I know Adam's probably got a jockey manager. I don't know who you are. <laughs> but you've just been sad. But fucking trainers, look, <laughs> this, this is what he is. Unbelievably talented. He's a better rider at the same age than Huey Bowman. He's stronger. How old is he now? I'd say he's 25, 24. That old. Yeah. He's a good styler boy, so he talks to owners well. How someone like Snowden doesn't pick him up as like their stable rider when he he's, lives he's around with Winona? Well, he's got a hundred yards on Winona, and I found Winona before anybody. He's got a hundred yards. Oh, he's they got... think Winona's okay. No, no, I think she's okay, but this kid is getting two rides at Kembla, and he's a superstar. And no one knows it except me. That's, why I've, me. that's why I've taken over management of him. Right. <laughs> I just haven't spoken to him about it. But I'm his new jockey manager, but the trainers have to get in contact with me, and then <laughs> you don't have to pay anything to me unless he finishes in the you first three. You know that makes you a licensed so person, then, I'm not getting a license, I'm oh, doing okay. it differently. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm changing racing New South Wales. I'm sick of the way they fuck everything up. <laughs> I've got better ideas, so my fee will be $50 if he runs third or second, and $100 if he wins. I'll, 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 I'll make a lot of money out of this, <laughs> and Adam will get the opportunities he deserves, because he's a hot rider. I'm telling you, he's a really hot rider. And hot in her. And I've seen Huey at the same age. I played cards with Huey when he was 16 at Coggy's place. He's got 100 yards on Huey Bowman. Huey, back then, Huey was like, he was that laconic guy Walter told him to fucking hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This kid is. <laughs> That's one of the quotes of the year. This kid is presentable. Who is that laconic strong, that guy Walter told, told him to fucking hurry, hurry up? up. <laughs> he's that presentable, he's that strong. He rides so well, I don't know why he... He's got 100 yards on Corey Brown at the same age. We all knew Corey as a kid. He's got 100, <laughs> yards, he's got 100 yards on Corey now. I was going to fucking doubt <laughs> But this kid gets two rides at Canberra on Saturday. It does my fucking head in. So, basically, uh, tweet it out there. I'm his new jockey manager. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be licensed. You want to let Adam know? No, fuck Adam. He didn't need no. Just fucking... <laughs> I'll get you the rides, kid. He's a freak. All right. All right. Well, okay. Another job for me. There you go. Well done. Help. Maybe I should have spoke to Adam about it before. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Go for yeah. See, if you're a jockey manager and they pay you, that's why you should be licensed. But I'm not getting any money off him, but getting the money that way, mm. I shouldn't have to be licensed. Yeah. So, you're a jockey broker. I'm a jockey. Yeah. Well, jockey I, mean, broker. I am a jockey um, finder. Yeah. I can tell if you yeah. can go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and this kid can really go, and it, it, it does frustrate me. This good Aussie kid, you know, drinks in the Hoogee Bay. Yeah. Goes to Donnie has a drink. Yeah. He fucking he talks well to people. Yeah. Does a great job on a horse. Gets two rides of Kemba. Mm. Oh, give me a break. Mm. Shit. That's why I've taken over management. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for the work, Adam. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked. <laughs>
And before Adam commits to it, maybe he should just look at your previous employment history, which is one job that didn't last long at all. I, I rang and told him I wasn't coming in. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. He's a great writer. All right. Uh, man of the match. Uh, Darren's well, had a great day. Darren had a really good day, didn't he? You, you've been man of the match the last few weeks, Glenn. It's not your oh, turn. Terrible day, something. Yep. Uh, and Mark, you, you came home with about 4 million units on telepathic alone. Well, I did mark it $1.90. Um, wow. Just, yeah. uh, just to, uh, you know, that's it was moral. Yeah. Uh, well, well, you, you were bidding into a favourite, which. Well, what you know, like, like two, two <laughs> weeks ago, it? two weeks ago, I went, what is it? And everyone went, oh, this is a good horse. Right. And then on Saturday, they sort of, they weren't so bullish about it, but, you know, it's still, it was still occupying a good chunk of the market. Well, for a long well, the time. the thing is, the beautiful thing is about these tracks is that, that uh, Saturday and yesterday, there's no random results. These tracks aren't that wet. Like, even, uh, you know, I, I would suggest that more to gain and bring luck are eminently findable, and Zanbar, who is perhaps the random result for the day. Last time she was in Sydney, she ran second to Rising Romance in the Oaks. Ooh. That was her last Sydney and start. She did open up $101 on the Thursday. I'll go talk about something else too. $101 on the Thursday, and, 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 and I think she traded about $19 as they jumped. Mm. So she was findable to a lot of people. And Snowy, uh, I think Snowy tweeted out there the um, the ride on Zanbar was a bit controversial as well a, a while ago. Remember the quiet ride? I remember, remember that. that. Yeah, yeah well, I've completely that, forgotten, about I've forgotten about that. I've forgotten about that. Was that Shin that day? I think it was Shin. I think yeah. it was Shin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that in the surround stakes or something like that, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was somewhere. the first time. Well, I, I, I don't first, know. Uh, I won't say that. The they up grabbed up him something. about a quiet type of ride yeah, and yeah. examined it. Yeah, I yeah. think it was a sweet idea on the race. Gave it the fame game. Yeah, I think I think I'm pretty sure they looked into it, didn't they? I think they did. I know yeah. it's not something we're not guessing, and I think yeah. there was. Yeah. Come and explain this, but, but yeah. Anyway, the point I wanted to make about the program is that you get these wet tracks, and suddenly people want a back first class ticket. First class ticket did not have a hope in Hades. Kingsley not was all a hope. over it, and I think it was more to do with racing position. I didn't find it in my numbers. No. It? Like it, it was a million to one, and that's. I mean, bring on wet tracks because honestly, you know, the, the form will often stand up. Mm. And then mix up too, mm. which is good. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, just quickly on uh, back to Sky Channel now. We're, we wrap Ronnie up here all the time, and this isn't Ronnie's fault. Okay. But honestly, this is borderline fraudulent in there at Sky. They um, got this new thing called Formline, Formline, blah blah blah, Formline, Formline, Formline. What's the joke? It's only been going for about five years or there. I think I think oh, we actually that? I think we actually sponsor it, don't we? Oh, I'm not bad. Oh, Formline bagger. brought to you by <laughs> the Punisher, Show, I believe. Oh, is it? I think so, yeah. Fuck them, I'm still going to bag it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there they had Ronnie Duffs here tipping Better Not Blue, which was fantastic. He's yeah. good on you, Ronnie, and he yeah. won that day. Yeah. And did a little, little, did a little, little. Well, on the actual two days before the event, they bet $5 Better Not Blue, and then there was like 17 scratchings yeah. in the race. Yeah. And I think it traded about 320 and started 290 and paid 260 and all the toast. But there's Form 1, Better Not Blue, and then right at the end of the year, there's a big stamp. Five dollars. Yeah, I okay, go. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Five dollars. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> More like two ninety. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you can't. Yeah. You, you can't. When the, when the field goes from say, fourteen to six. Oh, come and buy Esso petrol, seventy-seven cents a litre. Esso petrol. <laughs> fuck, they went BP. Is Esso still around? No. Oh, fucking who were they? You know, I live in forty years ago. <laughs> is Esso not here anymore? <laughs> I'm sure it's it got replaced by Emco. They've all been chomped up. Chomped up. <laughs> but you can't say that, get on TV and say it's 77 cents a litre and turn up and it's $1.69. <laughs> so, to form line the show there, you're a good show. Ronnie does a great job. He's a very good tipster. But let's put up what price it was. If you see the edges in a minute, it just yeah. frustrates me because. Yeah, fuck it, $5. Yeah. I wish I got on at $5. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Without the deduction. Well, yeah. There's, there's a stage sports bet we weren't taking out deduction this year. Yeah, it, it, those yeah. Glory days? Sports <laughs> didn't take deductions. When so, was just so I, you scene. know, if I, if I backed something that, that won, and I'm it going, oh, I hope I backed it with sports bet. Now you hope you backed it with the yeah. 365 <laughs> because they've got the SPG. Yeah, true. Yeah. Wow. That's some glory. Yeah. That's four, uh, that's seven, six or seven years ago, I think it would have been. Okay, there you go. All right, well, let's get talking about the races. We'll uh, cover a lot of other things in part two because we've covered everything else, including Glenn's new job. <laughs> um, we were Did talking about. Yeah. Peter Snowden? Yeah, hello, mate. Yeah, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking ace. <host. laughs> 300 to you, Pete, for me. Look after me, Pete. Thanks, mate. It's a fucking challenge. I'm your manager. <laughs> <laughs> you all start well, laughing. Well, you got, you got to ring your mate uh, HNBC and uh, t try to get him on Ducho Valentinius, Glenn. Well, he. No. 
No, no, no. no. He, he just said, said, can stay with McDonald and Clippo. He's got that team worked yeah. out. This kid's going to be picked up. He, he's, Adam Horace is a better rider than Sam Clippin. Oh, I, 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 I'd look at them equally. Gee, I wouldn't. I think, I think uh, we're... Goes good. Clippo goes okay, but did you see when he was, when, when Bettner Blue got up next to him? Oh, come on, he was on Sanzio. Yeah, but did you know oh, the body styles of Jess Taylor and there's Clippin? Oh. Sam's, Sam's a competent tradesman. Adam Horan was something special. I, I think I think where I'd like to see it is Adam with the experience in town that Sam's had now, because Adam, I think, would need give him a would chance. Need to give him give him give him the chance of Clippo, anyway, and I, I would say better on. than Clippo. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Ducho Valentinus, you said it came with nothing. It's had this giant spruik off. Well, off no, apparently, even you were saying, like you've yeah. said in two race to race speed profiles, well, it goes alright. It's just a plus three horse. It's a plus three horse, which for that, for that language is means a it was moder a, a, a moderate a moderate. A moderate Saturday horse at best, plus three, and plus three when it gets to two thousand metres too. Anyway, luckily no punters backed it on Saturday, did they? No, no it was, unlabeled. It was, did it end up as being favourite still? Or? Yeah, yeah, well, no, no. I don't know. Just, I yeah. I've tipped a lot of bookies went around cheering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, the the winner, and, and it loomed up, and, and the then the it just said, "Let me out." And but it, the winner was six dollars, like mid betting. The winner on the fair. Very, like, it was very it, soft. It was longer it? after the scratchings. Right. What, and what did they came from? Agnes and as you first class yeah, tickets. Ticket ticket yeah. yeah, they were the they were the two. And Agnes you know, probably... Swift Lady was a like Swift Lady's SP fourteen. I took twelve on the fair. Well, what is Swift Lady? Um, I backed it. Yeah. Well, what is Queen of Kariba? What's happened to it? This doesn't go in. Doesn't. Uh, what Bob is life? Oh yeah, Queen of Kariba was sort of those horses that they keep having an extra run, an extra run, an extra run. Maybe the next the next prep that's not a good thing. Actually, yeah. sorry. Thank you. Yes, that, 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 oh. that fell. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, but they, we're, we're talking about mares, and we've often talked about the fact that mares go purple patch. Uh, yeah. Good night. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The Usually after patch. they've been lawn yeah. mowed into the, into yeah. the end. Yes. So purple patch. Uh, Mark, we made the point on Saturday, on Friday's show. How much do you love me? We'll win one of these races. Well, Aaron was quite keen on how much you love me, and I was, yeah, uh, he I loves was less, less than respectful of him. <laughs> oh, what about Aaron? The big news about Aaron on Saturday. It was big girls' day. Did you hear about Aaron? He picked up. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was a bloke. <laughs> did you hear that? The bloke, I'm telling you how handsome he was. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah, no, you know, I'm being fair to Oh, no, seriously, I didn't. Yeah, know Aaron that. picked up. <laughs> the bloke comes at you, you're handsome. <laughs> There's like four million shillers in there, and dirty filthy Aaron picks up a bloke. How much? He's the fucking best, Aaron. He does look like a little pork, doesn't he? He looks faggy, let's be fair, Nick. That's not unfair. I, I like him more and more, I'm starting to warm to him. Really I don't want to it's really anyway, taking you Aaron, two years. Aaron was quite keen on how much you love me. How much you love me is the run of the meeting. Yeah, really? Like, well, they've just. Like, they've like Eaton Courtside have run through their skin. Things they need to go well. Ins and outs is poor old ins and outs. Poor old ins yeah. and outs. Do you reckon? You know? we, we spoke about it afterwards, and obviously the gun has been one of our favourites, but. Um, he looked between the six and four hundred metres. He looked to sort of probably push the button a little bit hard. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, I, especially when you got two squids. I think in it's front a hard of... horse to ride that into the outs. Yeah, probably, it probably needs the twelve hundred metres to settle a little bit better because it never looked overly. I, 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 funny there because I quit all the race with uh, a thought to a punter out there. He came up because he sometimes he comes out to me. He like he doesn't care about uh, the form. He doesn't care about man and gun. He doesn't care about beating. He just he sometimes <laughs> asks me, "What's the best horse in the race?" You know, sometimes he goes, the best horse." He said, Glenn, what's the best horse in the race? And I said to him, the best horses in the race, I said, there's two of them. How much do you love me? And Diamond Oasis. I said, but the way they're going, I think one might win, but one will run last. And one won and one will last. <laughs> the, old, the old top and bottom play. But well, how much do you know, in, in, it's probably been the best horse in the race. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a fair yeah, yeah. call. It, 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 it had that form The amazing now. thing yeah. is that it won its debut at Kensington Track. Do you remember that? Yeah. When it was so spruce. Yeah. This win is its, is its only other win in Sydney. Yeah. Because it won a Ramorny, didn't it? It won, it won, it won a, a Brisbane race. won a race in Brisbane. Race in Brisbane. And and I remember think it was, it was the, it was the tubing horse or something like that? Yeah, it yeah. was the tube horse in Melbourne. Yeah, it was. Right. Yeah. How much do you shoot me? Anyway, here you go. Anyway, I, I realised it wasn't a it was a, uh, it wasn't a high grade meeting, mm. but and that was the highest grade race, but they came the came yeah, the came yeah. the numbers. Yeah. And that's not really how much you love meeting. Now, um. We've seen the, we spoke about the Turner and Paletti uh, double and that. Um, there's a, 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 a lot of talk on the track, I'm not sure if it's right or not, that the Chris Waller's bet is now their bet. Or has been, you know, has become, has become well, their bet. Well, does that mean he's um, 
A good vet? Or or is it anyone can have him? Well, I'd imagine if you're a vet, you're a vet, I don't know. I'd imagine you, you can only be but going some vets around. must be, like, because there's a lot of work involved. Well, I would, I would have actually thought, I don't, I don't know if it's because somebody would say, I think somebody else was saying to me, no, that's not right. But everybody wants to tell you that that's, that's what started with the run. I would have thought that Chris, knowing how Chris runs his operation, would be exclusively contracted to not let anybody of any note out of his yeah, side. Because he, well, also, but because he needs the, the vet all, uh, at any right. time, doesn't he? Yeah, he can't have the vet somewhere other stable. Yeah. So when you're a horse but you're probably a vet, you're probably a vet business, aren't you? Probably are you a veterinary with other people? Do you do dogs and cats, or you just do no, all no, 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 not, not with these. Yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. not with these ones, So basically, if you're a stable of Wallace, you've got like 200 horses, you're the vet all day, aren't you? Well, you'd think so. It's Tim Roberts, isn't that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's active everywhere. He buys horses, he's... I think his missus well, has a, he, yeah, remember in some of the horses, so... He, yeah. She's a trainer. She's, She's a trainer, yeah, that's right. She trained oh, Cheryl Roberts. Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, so, um... Well, that's right, that's what Aaron, Aaron was tipping yeah. the yeah. Aaron found yeah. something. In the gym crack. Well, you know... What was it? It's plenty of fingers. Someone trained no. by, something trained by Cheryl Roberts. Did it win? No. No, no, no. Okay. no it was just... It was, yeah, but, <laughs> but, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? He tipped lots of losers. He's the best. We all tip lots of losers. He picks up blokes, don't worry about that. Yeah. Okay, so this Tim Roberts is in it. We need to get Tim Roberts on the show. Oh, actually, it'd be very interesting. Yeah, how yeah. come you go so good when you work at certain tables? Like, can you help this show? He might be able to, <laughs> he might be the key. He might be able to help me with my jockey management. <laughs> work out a way to stay on license like him. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, because they're not. They're still they're not licensed. licensed. No, they're yeah. not getting licensed events. No, no. The, no, 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 no. But um, the the interesting thing about the Turner and Pilates is that one, before their good run, yes, they were not getting back. Yes. And suddenly they're like, they're well backed most of the time. <laughs> Very well backed. Yeah. Bring Me Luck was 50s on the Thursday and yeah. they were taking 13.5 as they jumped. Mm. Mm. It was a strong go. It mm. did trot in. Yeah. And was, was going to win a long way out. A long way out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hot stable for punters anyway. Oh, Jump on now. It just, mm. just continues on, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Anyway, um, and it's been a real moment. Hello, Tim. <laughs> what do you want, Adam? <laughs> Fuck. Not even you need Adam at the moment, but I can get him on. Oh, Aiden, no, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden O'Brien's on the other yeah. one. <laughs> 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 so, Hang on, you're both the Sheik, I think, Ricky, isn't he? <laughs> Hello, Sheik. <laughs> Fucking no way. Except <laughs> the Sheik. Oh dear, far away town you mentioned somehow beat Pittsburgh. It was, well, it was, it was just, it's embarrassing to watch those two then. Oh, did you see Matthew Smith after the race? He's like, he's... He was sort of wide and yeah. just completely shocked. How did that happen? Well, how did it win? Yeah. And live at the 200, it was a million. Well, now oh. the bookies ring now looks at the race course. So you, yeah. you watch them go past you. At about the 250? Yeah. Had the, the 150, I think. It might have been the, uh, yeah. the rail guide might have helped it. Oh, oh God, the other horse One stopping. must have stopped real just quick stopped. and one's just yeah, kept right, just, boarding. Yeah. Is it, it was is like it, the day that never was with all these different riders. Oh. I, I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Like, You've got to enjoy it, haven't you? Uh, uh, Nash. Blake Springs wrote a favourite. Even if Shinny yeah. stayed away, it's yeah, all right. Okay. McDonald's stayed, just keep them all to stay away. It's oh, fun, isn't it? There's something In about fact, it. There's a, the roll call of trainers and jockeys on Saturday is just insane. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking. It's no, no, right, right. there's Rory at the finish. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because uh, well, because half the big scrabbles. What do you mean, Rory at the finish? Well, Rory I mean, you know, he's a bit maligned, uh, I think. Oh, why? Is he's always, but, but he's at least sort of. If you're going to see a card, like you're not going to say it's a strange thing because he's connected. Connected to Waller, so he's a chance. Uh, yeah, Anyway, yeah, is that yeah, the end yeah, of part no, one? Not, not quite, just no, almost is. is. Uh, we, what else we, oh, we've got to talk about the messy <laughs> race and uh, the course of the pink fig tree. I mean, have you seen? That was. That well, was I, anything goes. I that declared, was beautiful. Wasn't I it? declared yeah. Mandel and Kiss to my punters. It was $14 and $4. I don't know how much I've had on it. Uh, each way you declared it. Declared it. It's got beaten a quarter of a length, missed a place by a booze stick, and it was hard ridden for 1,250 metres, not handling conditions one yard. Yeah. If it travels for 100 metres in each stage, it wins by two lengths. It was a fucking moral. How I got booed, <laughs> I honestly nearly started to believe in God because then I thought, he really fucking hates me. <laughs> and, what about, and what about, as you mentioned to me, if Danish old mate comes out, which 99 times out of 100 only has to touch it and you get it on I Protus. Just walled all Saturday night. <laughs> so if you watch the replay and Danish twist sort of comes out, it's going and just stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's like, it was like it was a magnetic there, force. So, so, what, so you're watching the head on and it's just about to hit it. It's going. Yeah, but. <laughs> it, it, it stops. It's fucking. It yeah. just honestly. And I want to know. And, and look, I want to know any finance people out there how my net wealth today is about 826 bucks. How Mandel and Kiss was worth nine thousand a place to me. If you could just please explain. <laughs> I 
Like it's worth nine a fucking hole to me, and I got eight hundred twenty-six dollars in my jars this morning. <laughs> I'm financially fucking ruined, and I just need something to go my way one day so I can get going the way we know. And I'm just been in purgatory for I've been in hell for twenty fucking years. <laughs> and then I backed up to Beaumont yesterday. <laughs> oh mate, I got there. Give me another cut of the day off. How do we supplies? I come back. Tell us, just keep laughing. Oh, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's, what do you what do? What did you say in your message? You said each way all day, or no, unloading each unloading way. Unloading each way. Yeah, moral each way. Each way, moral. Unloading each way. And it's a thirteen hundred meter race, or whatever it was. The first time, one of and for eleven hundred fifty meters. It wouldn't yeah. go a fucking yard and got beaten that far. Yeah. No. If, you, if you see so the if replays... It, if it the... travels between sort of the 600 to the 400, just gets on the bit and travels, yeah. it shits in. It's the, it's and the... then, great... Well, no, but it did that at Canterbury as well. Like, it never travelled at Canterbury. I think it's and... him. <laughs> it's my man, number five. Andrew Banks. Yeah. There's a fucking Mr. Banks. Andrew, there's another one. There's hey, another hey, one. Banks, he got fined to the right, too. Hey? He got fined 300 bucks to the right. What for? Hit the horse 41 times. <laughs> yeah, well, that was... <laughs> what was that just for the bend? <laughs> And I promise you, if you'd run a fucking place, you could have sent me the bill. I would have got it off Adam Hieronymus's. Mine <laughs> again. Hello. There you go. Gay? No, you brushed your music out. You're out too, bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>